That's a girl. Got you now, you piece of shit! I want his skill! Get him! You good?
We're getting there, ain't we? Ah, feels like old times. <laughs> It's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. what I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> you good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay, you keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? 
I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know. Yeah. Tell me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If they're Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, it's good to meet you. We're going to be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Say. Is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable? Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools? What? No. Wait, look. Trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey! We're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Tell me that again. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. If 
fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Neil's nose tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay, 